Now I tuned in to something super tight. Puffin' something sticky, nigga, I roll through the light Need to hear something real just to get me through the night I'm looking for them jackets cause I know they looking shy Know I'ma get some game tuned in with super tight Yeah, I get the low love from Big Bobo From the front seat, not no photos Already, baby it's going down, man. Yeah. It's going down, man. You tuning in to Super Tight TV. You live. You know what I'm saying, Bobo? Yeah. Bobo Luciano. Yeah. yeah. I got to be smoking yeah. Mitch in the house and yeah. Bobo wife in the house. Yeah. yeah. It's going down. You it's know what I'm saying? It's baby. It's, it's going Jessica. down. Jessica in the house. All day. Already. All, All day. day. Hey, man. Already. You know, if same. y'all don't know who this is, this is my family, y'all. This is my Port Arthur, Texas family, you know. I don't have many people that I call family. Oh, really? You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I took a leap of faith in the, in the um, early 90s, and I moved to Port Arthur, you know, faith. Yeah. That's what's up. And uh, I met some real good, stumped down, solid people. You know what I'm talking about? Exactly. And, and, met, and I, you know what, Bobo? We show you love, man. Man, I show y'all love. I mean, I mean you it's, did it's show got us to. love. Exactly. You know mm-hmm. But I want to introduce, man, my, my beautiful, sexy, gorgeous wife. What's your name, baby? It's your girl, Jazzy. Yay! Yes. Already. And I got my boys in the house DJ Bird All and Big Smoking Mitch from yeah. UGK. Yeah. 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 That's how we do it, baby. That's how we That's do how it. That's how we do it. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Coming down the bo- the D de- de- town yes. to see Bobo. Thank oh, you, bro. Yeah. Yeah, broadcast system. Got man, look here, Bobo. I'm going to congratulate you, man. Thank you, bro. I'm going to congratulate Because you did. Man, you came a long way, man. Thank you, brother. Came a long way, man. I'm we're going to talk about it. You. We're going to talk about when we was kids. About- right. You know, right. Uh, we're going to talk about UGK. Oh, uh, really? We're going to talk about DJ Bird. Exactly. Yeah. We're going to talk about Big Smoking Mitch. Right yeah. on. We're going to talk about the pimp. Oh, uh, really? We're going to talk about Bun Beater. Oh, man. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm talking about? Unheard UGK stories. That's right. You real. know what I'm saying? From That's when real. we used to kick it. You know, yep. just things we used to do, all the fun, all the positive things we used to do. Yeah. Oh, man. man, y'all remember how we used to go to, you remember when y'all came to Dallas? Yeah. We used to go to that boy's uh, juvenile home and talk to the little boys. Yeah, yeah. You see, they don't I know that, that part. Exactly. They don't know that part about UGK and, and, and reaching out to the community. Yeah, people, oh, man, they never did nothing to the, for the community. He would, uh, uh, All they talk about is uh, a pow, 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 gang and selling yeah, dope. Right, but, right. No, but, man, they, them boys had some social commentary. That's right, that's right. That's right. And, 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 and they really live what they talked about. That's right. That's and right. And the boys really felt for the community, especially in Texas. That's yeah, right. You know that's what right. I'm saying? So I always like to kick it to my wife, and she's going to kick it, get it started for y'all. Um, Ladies first. You yeah, know, most don't mind. definitely. Whichever one you want to start with, baby, you know them. That's Mitch. That's Bird. Listen, yeah. Yeah. My, the question I have is for both of y'all. Bro. Okay. Tell, tell me about young Bubba over here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Tell oh, him about that um big smoking Mitch. Yeah. Y'all miss about tell young about Bobo. Bobo. Tell him about Bobo. I, I I got something to Bobo say. Bobo never showed me his uh alter ego. Oh really? No. Nah, both me and Bobo was always laid back chilling and smoking and sipping and you know, conversing, you know, politicking. That's that's what me and Bobo did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I, I had never really seen him get buck wild, you know, with the with the uh the, the, the ski mask and the uh the Jason mask and the, the yeah. chainsaw and you know, I didn't get to see all them shenanigans, you know what I mean? <laughs> bird saw it. Yeah, yeah, I seen it. Look, I bird see, like look, look, let me I seen all let that, me get you know in on this. Bird saw that. <laughs> bird, <laughs> bird, 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 bird me and Bobo the Psycho. Okay, yeah, bird. This that Bobo yeah. the Psycho. You remember when you did that show with Ron C yeah. and you came and man, that was the first time I seen you, Bobo. <laughs> I seen you with the chainsaw with the orange suit on. Yeah. Yeah, you had that chainsaw. I got a picture from that night. I'm gonna show it to you. Bobo, the Bobo, the psycho Ooh, from the ghetto. Oh, book. yeah. Boy, that shit remember me, I had that book. chainsaw in that afro. afro. Exactly. It was that <laughs> afro. I don't remember about that. Man, yeah, high till I die. That's right. Exactly, high till I die. That's yeah, right. 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 Tell, mm-hmm. tell a story, a Bobo story, Bird. The Bobo story, man, 
Hey, me and you did a, uh, dude, we tried to get a broadcast system yep. with a uh, radio station in Lafayette, man. Lake Charles. Lake Charles. Yeah. And then we brought the demo tape and shit. He was listening to it. <laughs> well, it was all right, man. I'm like, you program director ass nigga. Hey. You know that shit dope. <laughs> yeah. This shit trying to hate on us and shit. Mm -hmm. But that's all right. But look what you at now, Bobo. Yeah, thank you, bro. Yeah, what that man. was was uh again, it wasn't us. It wasn't us. You know who it was? That was the 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 four vision of Chad. You yeah. know what Chad told us to do that. That's it. right. He did. Chad he told gave us. us to, he told us to do it. Yeah, he and said, we went and did it. Yep. Exactly. Show sure did. Exactly. But we gave a, a, a whole effort because all that night till 2 o'clock in the morning, we practiced and we did that shit oh, yeah. and on a track machine, dog. In your, in your bedroom. And, and, and exactly. In my bedroom at the ghetto palace. At the ghetto palace. Exactly. That was the original ghetto palace. That was the original ghetto palace. Right. Right. And well, we did well, that well, shit. Me and Popo was in that motherfucker, man. We were putting it down, man. And that was, I wish I had that tape right now. That was dope. That was a dope ass tape, man. Exactly, man. We were man. talking about some shit earlier at the house where, you know, things we heard that was recorded that we can't find. We right, wish we could right. Find again. We could find like again. Like the thing in Monroe. Yeah. Oh, we're going to talk about all that. Oh, yeah, okay. most definitely. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, yeah. yeah we, we, we had tried to start a radio, uh, get us a radio show. You know, mm -hmm. and, yeah. and Chad was like, "Well, you know, it's gonna be you and Bird's show, but every blue moon, I'm gonna come through, and I'm, I'm gonna show up, and I'm gonna yeah. act the goddamn man. Oh, I'm, really? You know, I'm gonna do me on that boat. Yeah, right, yeah, it's gonna right. be tight. You oh, know really? Those are the good times. Yeah. You know, Port Arthur, man, that's just a. I was telling my wife, that's just a wonderful city. I met when I moved mm -hmm. down there, a very small town. They embraced me from day. Fucking no one, doubt, no doubt. and I remember no moving down there that that first night. They said, "You hungry?" I said, "Yeah, I'm hungry, man." You know, I have shit, maybe about five hundred dollars in my pocket, mm -hmm. and they said, "Well, uh, you want some shrimp or something?" And I'm thinking about shrimp up here in Dallas. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make my money last, man. Right. I'm trying to make my money last. I don't want to know if I want to spend no twenty bucks no on the exactly. Yeah, y'all ain't got no two for ten. You know, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. me, I mean, two pieces for 99 cents or yeah. something. Oh, thank you. Yeah. RBJs, yeah. Some, some, nigga. Some, and, yeah, really. We're going to talk about RBJs exactly. and all that. Exactly, yeah. Man, the boy said, let's go. Uh, man, you got $3? <laughs> I said, you got $3, bro. I said, $3? What $3 going to give me? Hmm. Man, they took you me to John surprised. Seafood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John <laughs> Seafood. <laughs> they took me to John Seafood. You, you man. all the shrimp you it, want. Yeah, all, all the shrimp, shrimp I want. want. And right. it was Good quality stuff. Exactly. Right. You know what I'm talking about? Because we on that go coat, uh, uh, that, that go coat, that water. We yeah, on that, that water. water man. And see, the shrimpers, the Vietnamese came in and they took over all of our uh, shrimp boats and they mm -hmm. took over. They really took over the, the black man jobs and yes. shit. You know what I'm saying? So they took over the shrimp industry. Like they trying then. to take over the fried chicken they, they industry They took over now. the shrimp mm -hmm. industry, mm -hmm. industry and they start uh, getting restaurants yes. and, and, and collaborating and taking care of their people and things. That's, That's right. what fucked us up, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, man, yep. shit. Right. They were looking after their people. You right. Yeah, you right. Carter brought them motherfuckers over here with that motherfucking <laughs> pandemic and shit. Yeah. And shit, I'm gonna tell you real, because I was about 11, 12 years old. Yes. Nigga, I was in elementary and them motherfuckers... Then the motherfucker had the lights and shit. Niggas was scratching and shit. Yeah. Niggas I don't was like, God damn, all this shit. I, I said, that. hey, mama, hey, you got to yeah, go out there and protest. <laughs> Put them signs up and shit and start protesting and shit. That's what we did. We protested because we didn't like that shit. I remember that. Because I remember they stories. was uh, giving... They they didn't have to pay taxes and shit. They you had a whole section of y'all town. Nigga, they held the whole motherfucker. I they remember still that. Still got that motherfucker whole Ninth section. Avenue. Ninth, Ninth Avenue. Avenue. They brought them up. Yes. And they got the whole nine, uh, nine yards, dog. No man. tax. Wow. And then look now, right now they taking over the whole goddamn town, the PA. Wow. Well, the essays doing that now. Yeah, the oh, yeah. essay, but the yeah, Vietnamese, but the, the it's Vietnamese essays and Vietnamese amazing. at the same time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, they well, doing you know, exactly. It's real talk, dog. It's a, it's a melting pot. It's a real. <laughs> it, and well, it, it is, is, man. It's it, a melting it pot. Is. Because uh, we got a uh, wife and I took a trip to uh, Kima. Yeah. And um, somebody told us to make sure you carry your. Your cooler down there, cause you know they got those ships down there, right? And and then you can get your cheap seafood down mm -hmm. there. Yeah, we right. We right. were shopping, and they had plenty. 
that's all that was down there was, yeah. was, was Asians. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There wasn't no white people, wasn't no black people, it was just all Asians and they had it on lock. Right. Yeah. You know right. So they, For they, real. they doing their thing. Yeah. But they, it's like that in New Orleans too. Right, mm-hmm. right. It's really right. like that in New exactly. Orleans. Yeah. yeah, you right. You right, Bobo. You right. You got, you got a question for him, baby? I do. So I think we wanted we wanted to use this show to kind of bring y'all together a little bit. Oh, oh, yeah. Exactly. Memorialize DJ the Bird pimp. Coming to you live. Okay. Yeah. Memorialize <laughs> the pimp. So exactly. We, Super tight TV. Yeah, I want to hear the stories. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I've been I've been I got, about I got y'all a story. I got a story. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I got a story. Hey, this Who's story the, right here. Okay. I was uh uh after been pimping. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm in my hotel room. Wait a minute. Slow down. But, uh, uh, you were in Miami. I was in Miami. Okay, for the big pimping but video. But after big pimping video, I'm I'm in my room, right? Okay. Bubble Pimp called me and said, Nigga, I'm downstairs. Yeah. Meet me at the bar. Yeah. I said, All right. <laughs> I I I'm I'm on my way, pimp. So Sound I went like down it. there, dog. Yeah. And so he said, Hey nigga. Got a shot for you. So he gave me a toast with him and shit. And so I toast him with a toast and shit. And then I got the toast and I hit that motherfucker. I said, I killed that bitch. Yeah. He said, oh, nigga, what you doing, dog? <laughs> and nigga got $500. I said, huh? <laughs> see, you nigga say, yeah, nigga, I got two of them motherfuckers and shit. Mm-hmm. But he, but, but before he gave me a toast, he said, look here, I'm going to give you a toast. This for me being with you for so many years, yeah, DJ Bird, yeah, yeah. and I'm gonna give you a toast. But I didn't realize that toast was five hundred dollars for being <laughs> for for me being he loved you, Bird. His DJ to love me Aww. exactly. I'm gonna and tell I, y'all. And hey, I, I didn't realize that later on. And I said, damn. That nigga didn't made it. Yeah, he didn't made it, yeah. dog. And because you remember the struggle for me. Yeah. You remember the struggle we had. I, I, I know the struggle, and he gave me a toast that gave me say, "Shit, five hundred dollars, nigga, I go get to be five of them motherfucking Hennessy <laughs> bottles and shit." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, and shit, I get fucked up for three or four a month. Yeah, <laughs> fuck that, you know. Yeah. But that was the honor that he gave me love, man. Yes. I, I, I I appreciate that to Pill, man. Rest in peace. I missed him so much, man. And he gave me love, dog, for real, man. Cause and he ain't he ain't gonna do that to nobody, man. Yeah, he don't. He don't get. He, don't. he gonna give a five hundred dollar shot to a people. real nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's real. Cause he called me and said, "Come down, nigga. I got something for you, nigga." And we're going to toast, nigga. I what? say, well, I, I didn't know nothing about looking like that. That Louis the 15th, 16th, whatever 13th. that was, 13th and <laughs> shit. That's a high dollar and shit. Yeah. And he had two before I got there. $1,500. Exactly. Yeah. I'm like, God damn, this nigga is really balling. For sure. <laughs> and that shit. Because like, we remember when exactly. it was a, when it was a struggle. Man, and this, yeah. uh, it's high now. It's, oh, yeah. it's, it's real yeah, it's big it's now. And let me exactly. tell you something, Bird. When, you know, when I was living there on San Jack, um, you know, I was always, you know, we always had plenty of conversations. You yeah. Know, how you meet uh, Mitch, how you meet Bird. And his story with Bird, y'all, was, you know, he was already into music, doing his music. He didn't know, I, I think y'all already knew each other or some or were associates or something. Right. And he said he needed a piece of equipment. Yeah. And, and I bought find, him a track machine. Yeah. Talk, yeah you know what I'm saying? He bought him a track when machine. When he came to my mama house, and he asked me to be his DJ. Yeah. Man, that was an honor because I was following him that nobody knew. And I knew we, uh, he had. He had potential and he had talent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because he was selling his mixtape in high school. Yes. And I just got out of high school in 88. So I, I started following C. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then he started following me. He started following me, DJ, with DJ Marley Moore yeah. and Sean Lance, That's and right. we was rocking motherfucking parties. That's yeah. right. You know what I'm saying? But I was the main attraction yeah. because niggas wanted to get at me because I had 1200s. Already. Already. And niggas ain't that, had that was no big 1200s. Back. That big. was big back then. Big I had 1200s. So them niggas, I was, I was rocking a party too. Yeah. And then... Bill found out I'm rocking the parties in the motherfucking community. I'm getting it crunk. Yeah. So he asked me to be his DJ. He came to my mama house and asked me. I, I said, told me See, the story. then he gonna tell me, hey, I need some, 
I hey, cause his mama had the vending machines. Vending machine business. Exactly. But he ain't wanna ask his mama for money. No, you know what I'm saying? He ain't wants. wanna get into but but later on, I'm gonna tell you that story. Later on. But, <laughs> but anyway, I gave him two hundred dollars, nigga. I was gay. I ate hey, the nigga that back in the day, two hundred dollars. That's a lot of money. That's, that's a lot, lot of, of fucking money. money. Yeah. And he appreciate that. And he said, You my DJ. Yeah. You gonna oh. always be my DJ. He told me that story. I say, nigga, look here. I'm going to always be down with you because you true. dope. You dope, see? If y'all don't know, if you go back and listen to, uh, go back, you can Google this, uh, the uh, the Southern way. DJ Bird is the third member that's on that, you know, it's Bun, it's Pimp, mm -hmm. and it's DJ Bird. Right, that's, that's right, on that, right. That's on that cover. Yeah. So Bird has been down. From day one. From day one. Yeah, right. exactly. So, uh, we did a lot of traveling. Yeah. I mean, we went to, uh, we talked about the trip to Monroe. Yeah, where the boys threw the bottle. Right, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Uh, but I've been knowing Mitchell Queen from day one too. Oh, Mitchell Queen. I've been knowing Mitchell Queen. I Mitch remember when I Mitch from I, day one. I remember when I first met and, Mitch, and then he's still down with me from day he from day one. He's Mitch still was the down original with me. member. Yeah, original member. When I got exactly, with, he when, came up with the name. Yes, DJ K. yes. He came. Why up you with telling me a story? Yeah, no. Bird, why <laughs> you telling me a story? Let Bird Mr. Talk. Queen. <laughs> you said let Bird talk. Bird, Bird, he's <laughs> chilling yeah, in the cut. He just, he just chilling. He got his purple cup. And I'm waiting on him to start speaking. Now up, we, I'm finna turn the Mitch. And, well, I'm about to turn the Mitch. Exactly. Man. Yeah, but he came up with the name and. and and I'm still with him today, man, because he gave me blessings and shit, man. Right. And he a good nigga to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mitch Quinn is a great dude. When oh, I first met dude, him, man. he was in the Bud Brothers. If I, if, uh, I got, if, uh, if, yes. if I got a million, he got a million. If I got two million, he got two million. I read it, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how that's how we stick together. Tight, man. I read it, man. Because that's my blood brother. That's that love. That's, that's that my, love. That's my blood brother. And I'm going to- Shout I'm out a, to Ski Day. Hey, I'm a, uh, yes. Yeah. And, and I'm going to shout out to Bun B. Oh, yeah. And he got- I, I want to congratulate Bun B with his success on his Trill Burger. Yeah, for real. Because number Absolutely. one burger. It's the number Trill one burger, burger in the nation right yes, now. Yes, it is. And that's my brother, too. And I gave him I gave him so much love, man. That's right. And, 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 and I, 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 I get a shout out to Bun B. Niggas don't know how and much fun Willis Mayo, doing. my cousin. Willis, Willis Mayo. He my cousin. I follow he, him on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. He inspired me. That's yeah. my first cousin. Mm -hmm. He really. inspired me. To be what I am today. Okay. Because he taught me the industry. Okay. And I taught C the industry. Because he too he he knew what what, what the in and that was in the eighties, dog. Yeah. Long that was time in ago. the eighties. And he had a first video what he did in Orange and and put it on national TV, a video. It was a, a commercial. Chad. No, Willis Mayo. Willis, Willis Mayo. What year yeah. was that? That was in the eighties. In the eighties, exactly. He had a video. He had a group. He had a group. Already. And uh, and they put a video out on on national TV, and uh, there was a commercial, and everybody was seeing that. And we're like, what? God <laughs> damn! Oh, exactly. Yeah. So he really inspired me oh, gotcha. to do what I did. But he taught me the industry. Yeah. Exactly. And I taught see the industry. That's beautiful, man. Big smoking Mitch. Yeah. Lean up to that mic, man. I'm here, baby. You're in there, man. So, Port Arthur, Texas. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about you as a youngster in Port Arthur. Man, that was uh, a lot of uh, dealing with different uh, groups. Yeah. You know, uh, of course, UGK wasn't my first group. Yeah. Uh, I was with my homeboy, Boomtown. Uh Mr. Boomtown. Of course, y'all know his yeah, name. Yeah, Nahalia. Nahalia Johnson. Yeah, what's up, Boomtown? You know what Shout saying? out. Uh, we was a group called the uh, Shoe Shine Boys at first in in uh, junior high school. Yeah. And uh, with me, uh, Boom, Hardy T, uh, Gerard Proctor, and quite a few other people, you know. And uh, we turned into the Hardy Boys. After a while, uh, from the uh, Hardy Boy Mysteries, if you remember them when we was younger. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys. Yeah. Come on now. So. <laughs> <laughs> Already. Boom, boom exactly. took that name. Yeah. And uh, we we became a group, the Hardy Boys, yeah. me, 
uh, my homeboy Harley T, Boomtown, and my DJ uh, Arsenal. His name was Colonel Rock. Yeah, Arsenal. Right. Yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. that was a, another group that I was a part of. Uh, I met C, of course, in a junior high school. Yeah. And uh, the 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 reason why he got my attention was because he had a cane go on. <laughs> no, really? no, young nigga. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. And then How was it, it? it was in middle school. school. Yeah. It's, it's middle school. I was middle in eighth grade. He mm -hmm. was in the uh, you know, 13, 13, 13, 14, seventh grade. I want to okay. say. Oh, really? I met Pim when I was six, and he was sixteen. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know, he was uh, in the band, and I was playing ball. Yeah, you know, and I saw him, and uh, I was like, man, where you get that cane go from? <laughs> You know, they say, man, I got it from California. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Ain't nobody got one like this. I say, yeah, I, I can see that. That's why I came to talk to you. Uh, really? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I want to get one because I'm, you know, we mm -hmm. MCs. Yeah. yeah. And in Port Arthur, Texas, there is nowhere That's in Port right. Arthur, Texas that you can go and get a Kango. That's not right. Real. That's right. You know, no, back in not, the day. None. Oh, yeah. exactly. Not even a fake one. Oh, not wow. even, yeah, exactly. Not, back not in, the in day, Port you Arthur. You couldn't get no Kango. Yeah. You can go to Beaumont, mm -hmm. and there was a place called the House of Adams mm -hmm. that you could go to and get you some Kangos. And that's where I got my first one. It was a white white one with a black Kango on, on, the, uh, on the front. Yeah. And he had... Uh, uh, the one he had on that day when I met him, it was a red one. Like, uh, remember Kango Kid from UTFO? Yes, yeah, exactly. them, them type of Kango. Yes. That's the kind of Kango he With had. Kango on. on the side and shit. You know what I'm saying? That, that dope, fucked my man. head up. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I was I like, well, that. you know where you get that? So we started talking and everything, and I found out that he was MC, and I'm like, okay, well, you know what you got. You know what I'm saying? And he played his first song he played is called I'm Fresh. Yeah. I still have that song. You the archive. Yes, I yeah, am he the, the archive. archive. Yeah. That he is got, one of my he, aliases. He, yes, he, you know I know. I he, am the archive. You are the UGK Look, big smoke, archive. Big smoke. Archive. Big smoke. You know what what I'm he's the archive. He got everything. I know mm, we do. That's exactly. He got the files, man. And he know never. It, 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 he always going to have an archive. That's why I give him all what I got. Yes, because he's going to keep it safe. Because he's going to keep it safe. That's, that's right. Yeah. At least, at least exactly. that's what I try to do. Exactly. Yes. But you know, he's doing a good job. Let me tell you something about, fun, about Mitch. We're going to continue. Mm -hmm. When I moved to Port Arthur, Mitch had some unreleased in the United States Marvin Gaye songs. Yeah. You remember that? And yeah. he still got it. He still got it. <laughs> and he look, see, Marvin Gaye is his Oh, I already mental. know. Marvin already Gaye know. is look his at the mental. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He yeah. love him yeah. some Marvin, Marvin Gaye. And Steve. Exactly. Yes. He got a lot of Marvin Gaye that nobody never heard before. Yes, yes. He I, do. I, because I heard, I heard it. it, and I'm like, Queen, where you get that from? Yeah. Overseas. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. He'll get it from overseas, and nobody got it. He got it. Wow. Yeah, exactly. I, I barbecue on Marvin Gaye's it's birthday. All the time. <laughs> on his Aww. birthday. Yeah. He barbecued yeah, on his birthday. But Marvin the whole day. Well, you know, April 1st yeah. is when he uh, got killed by his old man. Yeah. April yeah. Fool's yeah. Day. April 2nd is his birthday. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. And so he, I party both of them days. Both of okay. them days. He and barbecue. Bird and been to yeah. quite a few of my Marvin I see the games, pictures, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When you cook, you cook. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's right, right, <laughs> I don't right. play. I'm going to show yeah. you the pictures, boy. Yeah. When they cook, they I cook. I don't play. Like, yeah, don't play by yeah, a true Marvin. I Gaye. remember those days of barbecuing oh, yeah. and bought off. Morgan Mitch is a true Marvin Gaye fan. Man. I know he is. He barbecue. He barbecue he barbecued on his day, man. Y'all remember and the barbecues we used to have at Chad House? Yeah, oh, barbecue yeah. on the side. Yeah, that fool oh, yeah. put some uh, alligator guard yeah, there. Already, exactly. Didn't, didn't know like, what he was doing. Didn't know what it was, but it tasted good. And I was like, damn, this shit tastes good. It tastes like chicken and shit. <laughs> the best what I alligator mean, guard see, tastes like. See, I put some chicken. barbecue sauce on that motherfucker <laughs> and shit. And then put a little barbecue sauce on there. And I eat that motherfucker. Oh, yeah, it's going down. Dude, we're smoking big, too. Yeah. I say all oh, day, it's, it's going see, down. We eat our ass off. <laughs> it was one Fourth of July. My mom and my my uh, dad was out of town. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I barbecued. Yeah. And Bun came by, too. 
Yeah. And uh, I had barbecued all day and everything, and I made a special sauce and everything for uh -oh. for the. Uh, but it was know, tasting from, good. Yeah, but 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 what <laughs> what, what <laughs> Bun laughed at was he say. But there's a bird got this big ass plate of food. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. I made sides and everything. He got the the, the barbecue and everything. Oh, what was so, the sides? So, uh, macaroni and cheese and, and dirty rice. Oh. Yeah. So look, he he gets his whole plate, and I got a whole big old thing pot of uh, barbecue sauce that I made from scratch on the side. Yeah. Bird goes in the refrigerator and gets some ketchup. And some mustard, and put on and put on, <laughs> on the meat. The, 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 the <laughs> flavor even yeah, better. And bun and was shit. like, man, this man sat there and and made that goddamn barbecue sauce from scratch. <laughs> then you gonna I, put I, that I, on I, it I, on I, the I, That's what I do. <laughs> that sounds like my, this. Uh, that sounds like I this. Say, I'm taking something Let about black folks. Do. Black folks always add what they. They, they, what they always... Uh, what they taste buds love. What they mm -hmm. taste buds love. Mm -hmm. Right, that's right. And then that's how I... All I, I did was I, laugh. That's, that's how I am. And that's how Especially black people raised. Especially the way you grew up like that. He that's the first person... Like that. He mm -hmm. the first person I seen put like ketchup and steak sauce and... On roast. Not that's roast. his taste bud. Steaks, steak well, that's the way I grew up. Yeah, that's how, yeah, exactly. yeah, I, grew up like that. I grew up like that too, Ain't nothing man. wrong with that. Yeah, when I was young, wrong, my, my mom, man, exactly. and my yeah, mom was there. High 57? Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. That's yeah, right. yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's right. what yeah. you put on the roast. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Right. I feel that. I really too much don't mess with A1 no more, but high 57? Yeah, yeah. I can get jiggy with that. I feel that. I can get jiggy with that. I definitely Yeah, man, we used to... I get I got a dollar for one of y'all to tell me PMC favorite meal. I'm gonna tell I know you. two he, of them. A Falloin. Ooh, that ain't the one he used to ask for nah, all the time. A Falloin, man. That nigga love that. And steak. What about Me? sausage and red gravy? Boy, oh, that's, <laughs> that's <laughs> what he asks his mama I'm to make that all the time. Right? I'm gonna tell you something, Bubbo. Me and that nigga used to get in the kitchen. Yeah. I used to stay with him. Yeah. And we just cook. Me too. I cut up the onions. Yeah, we did. And he'll do the I say, look here, I'm gonna cut up the onion seat and you just go ahead and do what you gotta do. You was the prep man. I was the prep man. Yeah. And I, I wouldn't mind to be the prep man because I got Pimp C <laughs> cooking for us. Yeah. Show, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So that was an right. honor right there, nigga. He used to get mad at me where I used to, he, he used to think he made better spaghetti than me. <laughs> mm. You know what I'm talking about? And then the reason why, he was the first person I ever seen in my life put sugar in their spaghetti. Okay. The first? Yeah, because I, I told how young him. we were. Because I told him. Yeah, I, was, I was like, I, you I, told, I told him that secret? Yeah, yeah, I told him that secret. Because I, I, I was cook. raised up like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. He's put a little bit of Not too much. Just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. But that shit tastes good to some side of acid. Yeah. Yeah, Miller. It's Miller out that potato sauce. Yeah, tomato sauce. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. That's what I need to know. If you how bring, you, how you you bring you down that to, to tomato it. sauce. You got too much tomato uh, to, sauce. To pay, uh, yeah, right. And you put, <laughs> you put, you put a little sugar. Innocent, on, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you put a little sugar in that mug, and then you bring it down. The acid. How the you acid. live in Port Arthur around all this cooking? Oh yeah, and then they knew me. Mm -hmm. They knew me, and because yeah. Bobo used to uh, cook for us too. Well, yeah. oh, hold on, oh, did he? What was he cooking? Stuff that I like, and, and then I they like it too. What and was he? And I just told you stuff that he like, and he will say, "This Bobo's uh, uh, spaghetti uh, some, uh, and what else? Y'all eat spaghetti every day? Like, no, 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 hell no. Hell no. no. When I got my apartment, what out else there? he make? I mean, come on, I baby. Pasta. Twenty years ago, I need to know. Pasta. He remember? Yeah, yeah pasta. That's the archive here. We yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Pasta, uh, Bobo made, made pasta, pasta. Oh. yeah, pasta, chicken, chicken. He'll fry some ch uh, chicken for us. Oh, so you do know how to fry? Yeah, them. That's what I, used, I used to twenty years ago. Exactly, oh, yeah, okay. twenty years ago. Okay. Say Don't say nothing, nothing else. Change. No. Ain't nothing Don't change. say nothing else, bro. Ain't when you change. on your own, you're going to have me in the kitchen. <laughs> exactly. I'll have you in the kitchen. Ain't nothing change. She she was, was, no, Bobo, Bobo knew how to take yes. care of a nigga when we, it's time for the Shut up, bird. Be quiet, bird. Okay, bird. Be quiet, bird. You get me in trouble, bird. Okay. Yeah, we used to make dishes up, though. Exactly. Make a dish up. Hey, that's what cooking is. Exactly. You learn from your experience. But you can't spill something. Pimp used to love to cook. He used to love. We. I'm going to tell you this story. We went to uh, Jay Prince's house in Vegas, dog. 
And uh, we did the uh the uh, video awards and shit in mm. Vegas and shit. It was uh Jamie Foxx birthday party and shit. Biz Marquis was DJing for Jamie Foxx on the stage and shit. Boy, Jay gave me so much love. I'm going to give a shout out to motherfucking Stay Down. He in a wheelchair right now, but guess what? Mm -hmm. He put some money in my motherfucking pocket. Huh. <laughs> that nigga gave me a motherfucking raw joke called $3,000. Nigga, I had gators, uh, Gucci shirts and shit. I'm saying, like, God damn, man. Ooh, boy, I love y'all <laughs> niggas and shit. L laced you up. Laced me up. Then I went to the video of the Music Awards. Yeah. With, with, uh, so my musical had the dogs running down the goddamn aisle. Y'all remember that oh, shit? Yeah. Yeah. I was Love right that, there. Baby. Then E-40 was next to me. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm happy. Them I'm talking about, uh-uh. No, no fingerprints. No yeah, fingerprints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's three, two get that then from. Tila came with us. <laughs> Tila came with us and shit. Yeah. And then we balled like a motherfucker. <laughs> you wasn't so tired of balling? Nigga, I wasn't so tired of balling <laughs> at all. Jay gave me some love, man. Already, man. Hey, I peace out to Jay Prince, man. Jay Prince real, gave man. me love. Then I, we went to Floyd Mayweather. Uh, he was about to fight this other dude. We went to a press conference that day. And we had to get up early in the morning. Boy, Pimp didn't want to get up that morning. I said, Pimp, we got to get up. Yeah. Come on, nigga. Mm -hmm. Come on, get dressed. <laughs> well, you know, and Pimp was always boy, on his own clock. It, man, that was, the, man, that was the best time I had in Vegas. I called Bun B and told Bun B, hey, come on, Bun B. We got, hey, Pimp say, hey, call your brother, nigga. I say, Bun B, man, we having fun. You going to come to Vegas, though? No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Yeah. Come on, Bun. You got to come, man. My Bun didn't want to come. I don't know. He didn't want to come. <laughs> he didn't want to come. But, hey, me and Pim had a ball, man. I'm glad you did, bro. I'm glad uh, you got this Jamie there. and Fox. We seen Jamie this Fox was after, in the lab. This was after he got out or before he went in? Before he went in. Oh, I know. He was oh, on five. Oh, hell yeah. He was on five. Uh, that was way before he went in. And then I remember, I remember being at the rodeo with you guys, and we saw Jay Prince, and he showed you Jay, all, all the kind love. of love. Yeah. I showed, I should have uh, introduced y'all to uh, with Jay Prince, yeah, but good. I was kind of nervous. I'm, 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 I'm talking to the Prince. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel, I'm you, I feel, Jay Prince I feel that way, too. Nerve, but I got to give him his props. You, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know. Uh, yep. Yeah, Cause he, he gave me mine. But you, but you know yeah. what was good about that bird? Yeah, he knew oh, who yeah. you was exactly before he came you over even there. But I called up. him. I yeah. called him. Hey, when he got yeah. off the stage. I That's said, "Jay right. Prince is he bird," sure did. and he came straight to me, right man. Bird, bird. With his entourage, I don't, I don't even think said, you said it was bird. He introduced me himself. I don't even think you said it's bird. I think he saw you after you said Jay. Yeah, then he said uh, bird. So That's the end. Yeah, That's right. Exactly. That's how it went, man. And then, he, you. then he introduced me to his entourage. That's right. That was a that's, beautiful night. That's mafia type respect. Mafia mm -hmm. type love. Exactly. Mob ties, as yeah, they say. Yeah, exactly. Man. But I yeah. appreciate that. Yeah, man. You know, I give I give Jay Prince all the love. That know, rodeo was a good night. And, and, uh, respect. That know? rodeo was a beautiful night. It, it was, was a beautiful night. night. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Tell me about uh the UGK forming UGK. Me forming UGK? Yes. And, and and that story. That uh story is uh is is dear to me because it, it started everything, you yeah. know. Uh me getting ready to go to college. Prairie View. Yeah. On yeah. a uh football scholarship. Yeah. Which ended up being uh a false scholarship. False? Yeah, it it, oh. it, it, it it wasn't what they was telling us it was. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm uh, glad you're telling me the story. Right. Yeah. Prairie Review had lost their uh, football program. I remember that. And 91, the year that I graduated, was the first year that they was getting it back. Okay. So they had to uh, recruit some people to come and play football for them. Now, mind you, they had people there that was I'm I'm a incoming freshman. What they position? Had, what position? I was I was going there for a tight end. Okay. But I ended up playing a guard. Okay. Okay. And I ended up being a punter. Okay. For for Prairie View. Okay. So what happened was they led us in 
saying that, okay, well, we don't have full scholarships. What you're going to have to do is we're recruiting you guys because you're great students. Yeah. And wherever you, they, we have money on the campus, this is where we're going to place you. Okay. It may not be your major, but we're going to place you here mm -hmm. so that you can play ball for us. Okay? Yeah. That's what it was. But when when the coach came to my house, he didn't explain it that way. Oh, yeah. It, this was a letter of right. intent right. showing that he's going to pay. He painted mm -hmm. a pretty picture. Yeah. Right. right. And right. it was something else. Yeah. You know, That's after right. I signed, then he explained what was really going on. See, it, this mm -hmm. was all a game. Yeah, it's all to a the game. End. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Right. So me going yeah. to Prairie Review... That's when Bun took my place yeah. to mm -hmm. to, right. to uh, go to you because Chad That's called right. me yeah. Yeah. and he yeah. was like, "Look, man, uh, tell me about that to, day. Yeah, you going to college? Yeah, hold on, Mitch. Mm -hmm. Go back in your mind, picture that day, draw that picture. You remember it? I know you remember because oh, yeah. you're about to draw it. Go off on my piece. Uh, I'm at my mom's house." And the uh, phone rang. My mom answered the phone. Say it's Chad. Yeah. So uh, I'm in the kitchen. That's what the phone was on the wall in the kitchen. And I'm like, "What's going on?" And he say, uh, "Say I know I know you're getting ready to go to college. You know, uh, but uh, the show got to go on." I say, "I agree." So he said, uh, first thing I want to ask you is, uh, can I uh, replace you with Bun? I said, well, yeah, that would have been the, the only person I would have chosen. chosen anyway. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's that's not a problem at all. Okay. And the second uh, question was, uh, can I keep the UGK name? Hmm. So I paused a bit, and I said, well, yeah. Hmm. I said, as long as I'm able to always be there with y'all, you know, when I'm off from college. Yo. You know what I'm saying? I go on stage with y'all, rock, do my thing with y'all. They say, oh, that's, that's not a problem. So I said, well, yeah, you can have the name. And he say, man, Mitch, I ain't got no money to pay you. I say, okay, you know, I, this is not about money. That's mm. real talk. Real talk. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? This this is about something that we started, you know, a name that I came up with. That's right. Know? That's right. And I had to come up with that name because we had to change our whole thing because of what DMD did to us. Exactly. What was that? Well, you know, he... Broke away from us because he was our DJ. Oh, okay. And I bought him in. DMI. DMI. Yeah, Dangerous Music Incorporated. Okay. Before Too Short. That's mm. right. That's I right. didn't know that Too Short had <laughs> that. that music. Yeah, and yeah. and this is this is crazy because yes, right. It they end up being so close. Yeah, it's crazy. Ain't it? Lay, later down the line, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I That's never right. knew. I, I, I'm serious, I and know. I knew of Too Short. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Freaky tales and everything. Oh, yeah. I, I knew it. You know what I'm saying. But I didn't know he had his production company was named Dangerous Music. Already. That's right. Yeah, I didn't know that. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was he broke DMD broke that up. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to go with Lee and my Lee homeboy Master. Lee Master. Right. You know, shout, shout out, out to Lee Master. For sure. You know, and and go and get a deal with either Wild Pitch or Profile. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, D was like, okay, look, I'm gonna go with Lee and try to get us a deal, and then I'm gonna come get everybody else. But what happened? What ended up happening was when the shit happened. I talked to D's mom 
and D's brother. Okay. And they told me that D is just out for himself. Wow. This is coming from his immediate family. Mm. You understand what I'm but saying? This before uh, was was the music world. Yeah, this is this is way before music. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So me and Chad didn't want to believe that. But he ended up showing his true colors. And that hurt C to his heart. You know, when I had to come and tell him, because he was in California, and then on Monday he came back to school, and I we have choir class together. I had yeah. to tell him, hey, man, D just broke up the whole motherfucking group. Mm. You know, C broke down crying like a motherfucker right there when I told him that. And he was like, look, we can't we we can't keep this name going. We gotta change and change our name, Mitch. Cause me and C name was Mission Impossible. Yeah. Under the DMI umbrella. Gotcha. You see what I'm saying? So we had to change that up. So I had to come up with a name. And because we were selling all the demo tapes out of the lockers and, and, and everything that we did, mm -hmm. the name just popped up. In my head, at a, uh, I was at a, uh, damn it, a uh, competition. I was at a choir competition with Chad, mm -hmm. and the name just came up to me, Underground Kings, and I got my homeboy Wesley, Wesley Harris, to draw. I say, look, I got this picture in my head. I got this name, Underground Kings, and I got. A, a, a picture of some speakers that's above ground and the the uh, the roots are going underground. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's where that came from. That came from God giving me a vision. Already. You know what I'm saying? Of, of, of what I was seeing be, for our new name. So... I called him and, and told him that would, that would be our new name. I called him. He said, Underground King. I got you. Underground Kings. Wow. He said, what? And I said, Underground Kings. And he was like, that's going to be our new name, Mitch. That's it right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that sparked everything. Oh, when you got a foundation... Right. When you find some finding the name, that's finding right. the rap name, mm -hmm. that's the whole, one of the hardest parts. That's right. Once you got that, you can start building from that. And Chad exactly. was he was like, that's man, right, Mitch, you yes, are exactly. a name dude. already. He said, You the name you cause Mission Impossible, that I came up with that name. I mean, right. The exactly. DMI name. And then the UGK name. And I came up with, name. Came up came up with the UGK you came name. Up two, yeah, Who came exactly. up with the Bud Brothers? Exactly. He, that was Chad. That was Chad. Chad came over. That the was Bud Chad. Brothers. That was a cold name. The yep, Bud Brothers, Brothers was me. Yep. Superb her. Shout out Superb. Uh -huh. Smoke D. Yeah. And, and Smitty. Smitty, yes. Smitty the pimp. I yes. want to get a shout out to pimp uh, Smitty man. That's For my sure. nigga man. What's up Smitty? Exactly. Yeah. Smitty Come through Smitty a real one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Come to the broadcast, Bobo Broadcast. Super dog. tight TV, baby. Super tight TV. Come on, bro, uh, Smitty. Man, that's my nigga right there. I got to call him tonight, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, Exactly. Yeah. But this, what we do, Bobo, this will never die, bro. No, nah, man. When you can't fail. Yeah, exactly. when we dead and gone, you I failed. guarantee you it's going to be there. And look, exactly. people don't know this, but there is a museum. Yes, and right. that we're getting go, ready to Gulf put Coast, up in Port uh, Arthur. Gulf Coast. Yeah. And it's going to be named Country Rap, the Country Rap Tunes uh, Museum. Right. Oh, really? Yeah. Based around us. All oh, of us. Wow. Wow. All of us. You're going to be a part of it. Wow. Exactly. Bird's going to be a part uh, of yeah. it. I'm going to be a part of it. Wow. I'm the biggest. The archive, everything that I have. Oh, you got it all. Oh, uh, yeah. Mitch, it's going on, toward, the toward the museum. Right. Is this in the works right now? This is in the works right now. And it's and it's not only in the works. It's in the works. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. How far are we away? Not far. Not far A couple years, all. one year. Uh, no, nah, not give far. Me, I, I'll, not I'll say far. this. Give me about five. Give me about five years because UGK Day is coming up December 4th. You yes. know, December 4th is UGK. This is the 10th year anniversary okay. of UGK Day. Ooh. You know, this is 2022. So let me ask you a question. 
when we went down there and they um, uh-huh. honored UGK and put him in the museum, yeah. and that particular day, UGK That's the day. day. Oh, That's the right. UGK. Okay. Yeah, right. And look, Beautiful nothing day. has been done yeah. from that day, that day up mm-hmm. until this year. This year. There ain't nothing going to be happening. And nothing happened that, Now, that the day. people that I'm getting with to make the museum, yeah. Brother Charles Clark the yeah. Third. I shout gotta out. give a shout out to him because he is the forerunner of this. And right. you got touch with Bun. Yeah, of of course. Well okay. now I'm I am i am not gonna lie and say that I have. Yeah. He know Charles has gotten in touch with Bun and Bun knows that there about is a museum okay. mm-hmm. in the works. Right. Now if he knows about what's going on this December uh fourth, well it's not gonna be December fourth because it's gonna be on the uh, third. Okay, got yeah. old. this year. So, okay. but mm-hmm. that's okay. We already got it approved mm-hmm. from the city. Y'all got the building site. All everything, everything. is from from uh, four to nine. Yeah, yeah. There's going we we're gonna have presentations and they, it's gonna be like a drive-in theater type of thing. Yeah, most definitely. Oh, and they're yeah. gonna be showing it on on, on, the, on the, the, the bank the, wall, the, the bank wall, the bank wall where yeah. people can drive, drive in and, and watch and watch the, it. the the. the, the the, uh, the documentary that's something that dope, we've man. made. Exactly. That's you understand what I'm saying? Super tight. That's super yes. tight. Yeah, exactly. You understand what I'm saying? Hope. Y'all heard man. that? Exactly. That's an exclusive right there. Exactly. It's UGK it's UGK Day. Day in Port Arthur, wow. Texas. Port Arthur, Texas. December 4th, every Everybody. year. Y'all need to say it right there, bro. December, December 4th. 4th, every year. Every year. The first year was 2012. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. You need to start a Facebook page. Mm-hmm. UGK Day. UGK Day. And, UGK and, and look, Day. Yeah. we've already been talking about You were around the exactly. forest. And it's going to happen. You know what I'm talking about? Right. You were around the forest. Mm-hmm. Right. Y'all get that thing organized. I'll you put it together. I didn't already bird. started advertising. I'm on Facebook. Yeah. My home but y'all always need a woman's touch. Day. Yeah. DA y'all always from, need a DA woman's touch. DA from the Black Monks? Ooh, DA, yeah. Boy, oh, DA. Shout out yeah. to DA. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to DA. That's my ace. Me and him got a... got uh. A project coming out called The King and the Monk. Already. Oh, that's going to be Because you know what I'm D.A. Saying? was the, uh, uh, he was the uh, foundation of uh, uh, Black Monk. Oh, yeah, that's I remember. Right. Three, I two. Remember, you know that's I remember. Right. And, uh, that's A-Wall. our era. You know what I'm saying? That's I used to right. listen to them all the time, man. They was man. dope to the monk. So, so look, man. me and him, he done done the marketing thing and, and the, uh, what, what, the, the, what what you call because it? he the, do the, 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 the designing he all do work. this yeah, yeah. that's all what all I wanted work. to say too the graphics and all work. Work. we started he started we started designing. uh advertising it just yeah. this week because okay. he can draw get the Facebook page yeah. Yeah. get the Instagram page right. yeah everything is that. is because what you can start doing is. Getting people ready a year in advance. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? You can right. put it on there to where, right. where, where it invites people, and you can know how many people are coming every year. After this right. year, it's going to be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel You know, you. especially when people hear it about it on this podcast. Yes, yes. It's going to be some people from Dallas, Fort Worth, the air, the whole area. Yeah. That's yes. going to travel out there Bro, this right. is the just world, to see. This ain't Dallas, Fort Worth. This is the World Wide Web. Well, yeah. yeah. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? I'm because right. you, get, you remember the funeral. People came yeah. from all over for the funeral. That's right. That's you the know track. what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So that's exactly. what you're going to get. You ain't got to yeah. worry about yeah. just Dallas exactly. coming. All of Texas exactly. is coming for sure. Yeah. Y'all because all of Texas, Nobody real pimp. Excuse me, no one real Texas like Chad did. You sure exactly. right. I mean, he, he lived had a it. voice. He oh had a God. voice, man. And I, and I always used to tell Pimp, man, don't don't be always uh uh represent your voice, that man. That nigga did, bro. He, he, he I loved said, it. man, don't don't I be a chain because he always to ask me, Bird, what you think, man? I said, man, go ahead and do what you gotta do. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, go right. do what you be gotta country. do. If That's you right. feel with your heart ill, yeah. because when we talk, we talk private. Mm-hmm. He'll call me to his room because yeah. he got to have somebody who he can trust That's to right. talk That's right. to. Yep. And not, not and a yes man. And not right. no yes man. No, right. a real nigga. Yeah. And he'll come at me. He say, Bird, in that, in that, in, in that uh, situation with the uh, Bobby by the Power and Whitney by the Q, mm-hmm. yeah. and he said, Bird, 
What you think about that? I say, well, if the record company catch that, what you going to do? See, she say, well, it's already out on the radio. <laughs> they done lost what I got to do. <laughs> Fuck them. Fuck them, bird. That's I'm right. I say, you right, see. Keep doing what you got to do, mm -hmm. dog. Yeah. I always, because he always tell me he have private conversation with his DJ. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. He always had private uh, conversation with me. I, really I don't never express that to nobody and never said nothing to the day. That's true. He, he always expressed shit, what you think, Bird? And mm -hmm. I tell him, because Willis Mago, always my cousin, told me the game. Yeah. And he always told me how to uh, um, deal with the record companies mm -hmm. because yeah. he was with the record company in mm -hmm. the 80s. Yeah. So I knew the game. I really and right. I put it to... Pimp, I ill. I read it, I read it. And learn him. I, I say, because he called, Pimp always tell me what's going down, That's dog. Right. That's he right. always did. And I tell him what, what I need to, no no negative shit, yeah. no violence or nothing. Yeah. I never did that shit. But I tell him the, the real, real shit he about needed that. the industry. He needed that. Exactly, yeah. he needed that. And what you think, Bird? I said, I'm going to tell you something. I need this. You need to do this. I read it. You know what I'm saying? Don't be all that violence and shit. <laughs> be calm and calm. But sometimes he not he, he didn't listen to me. Yeah. He do what he want to do. And sometimes do him off the game. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. But I understand niggas. Oh, he's his own man. That niggas on, yeah. Exactly. He's, he's on man. His own man. I understand that. I'm not hating. That's but right. shit, that's 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 my nigga. That's I right, miss bro. my nigga. My nigga was telling me something real, and I tell him something real, cause we was connected eye to eye. That's right. Do me a uh, favor, bird. What's that right there? That's my book. Let's talk about it. The two uh, that that motherfucker. Uh, my book. Uh, two turntables and a mixer. Yes. The life of uh, DJ Bird. I put that motherfucker out two years ago. Okay. Exactly. And it's, it's doing well on the internet. You can go online and, and find that mother. And Mitchell Queen got his album out yeah. and shit. He doing Look at that. well. All right. Exactly. Everybody go and get my book, man. Yeah, man. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? DJ Bird put a book out. And a lot of motherfuckers didn't know I put a book out. No, nah, I didn't know, Bird. Yeah. I know you I know. didn't. But with nah. the, I mean, but th this is why we're doing this. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I need y'all. Right. I mean, Chad would have done this. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Right. Because he had certain people, you know, you know, he loved. Right. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. And if he had it, they had I, it. Right. You exactly. know what I mean? That's how and he, he would have wanted that. And, and he wanted that. And that's how I am. Exactly. I got Leroy coming. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, bro, that's oh, great. oh, oh, that's it's going to be fun. Oh, it's, it's going to be And you know what, Bobo? Bo, okay. Your broadcast is going to be <laughs> big than ever. Dog. I hope so, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, I hope so, I man. Get, about that, I hope hey, so, man. So. I'm well, I, I got the faith. Exactly. I got the faith. It's and you're going to have yeah, the faith. Yeah, yeah I appreciate you. I got love for you, Bobo. Thank you, man. I got love you for my, you, too. You my dog, man. I love man, you I, You know I love end. you, Bird. I love you to the end, Bobo. Hey, you remember that day we did... And uh, I'm so proud to be you, here, dog. You remember that day we did... Uh, hold on. Welcome to Texas, bitch. We were born C and Gangsta, Gangsta C. C. We did that shit in, 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 in that Dallas. Was, yeah, yeah, baby. We showed Dallas did, Sound and we did Dallas that. Dallas Sound Lab. Yeah, it's like, I'm going to tell you a story. Bumby wrote my verse for me. Oh, you know oh, I know. Yeah. You know I know. He I was wrote, there. He wrote my verse for me. <laughs> I was know. there. But he knew what kind of nigga I am. And he, he felt me. That's and right. see, he wrote that shit when I was at the motherfucking house in PA. You know what I'm saying? Doing bad like a motherfucker. Yeah. And he wrote that motherfucker on the porch. A bunk over there. He, right wrote, now. he wrote my DJ shit. DJ Bird, on the porch. bitch. And I'm got, too live. I got, I got bitches bitch. from I, I 10 to 45. 45. Hey. And he told that motherfucker out and he said, Bird, I want you to write. I want you to learn this motherfucker. I want you to learn because we're going to Dallas and we're going to drop oh. that motherfucker. And I learned that bitch a whole night. Hey. We uh, recited it and never. You was there when, when when I recorded Bitch Get Up Off Me. Sure was. That's exactly. when the drama happened at that studio yeah, that night. Exactly. The, you uh, the kitchen. At the kitchen studio. Yeah. You know, we got some fakers out here that be trying to say, you know, talk down on Chad. And, yeah. You know, certain things didn't happen. Who was there and who not was there. And we had a show one night, man. I ain't never going to fit to get this. And we had rap a lot. 
Man, we had 100 motherfucking rap a lot. What was the show at? And we was at in Dallas. Oh, I remember. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, the time that dude But did. I had to drive all the rap a lot niggas in a, 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 a van, a white van. Nigga, C was right there. I had to drive them niggas all the way back to Houston. You know what I'm saying? It, was that the night that the constable showed up? But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Them niggas told me, Bird, get the money and go Sorry. and go to the van. Yeah. So I took the money and I put it in my motherfucking pan, in my drawers. <laughs> you my, put it in your nuts. Hell yeah, my dick was so big the motherfucking <laughs> shit. I had all this money and shit. But I, 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 nobody knew. Yeah. But it, it, the club was so packed. But I'm get, I'm gonna tell you something. We got that money, nigga. Rap a lot, niggas was right there. Yeah. Protecting C and yeah. us to the fullest. Well, you know, rap a lot had our back already, all the time. Already, man. Said, I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I respect man. that. You know what I'm saying? But I did what I had to do. You got a Bun B no story? A bu who? A Bun B story. Let me tell you this story. <laughs> we in Atlanta. Yeah. We riding around. Me and him and Lee Roy. Yeah. Riding around in Atlanta trying to find a strip club. Yeah. We riding around. Couldn't find no strip club. That's before Queenie. Owned. Before Queenie. Before yeah, Queenie. Yep, yeah, right. Before <laughs> Queenie. We riding around in Atlanta. Couldn't find no strip club. So Wait a minute. But How listen, you can't find no strip okay, club in Atlanta? Listen, listen, listen. Okay, listen, okay. listen to the story. So I told Leroy and Bun, I said, look, a pimp must die. So everybody, all the pimps and shit went to the funeral. Yeah. That, them niggas fell out laughing and shit. <laughs> then we found a motherfucking strip club open and shit. That motherfucker was off the chain. You remember the name of it? It was, uh, it wasn't, uh, it was, uh. It, it, uh, it was, wasn't Magic City? No, it wasn't. It, 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 the some, Flame? Tease. Tease. Okay. Something teased in motherfucking Atlanta, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But we had a ball. <laughs> and Bun had just did a future, so he got a bunch of money. Oh, he had a pocket. Oh, yeah. He had a little pocket on him. And look, we went in the fucking club. Yeah. Put all the money on the bitches oh, and yeah. shit. Oh, yeah. Then we didn't have no motherfucking money. To eat after we left the club. See, like, man, I'm now that's the story. Motherfucker, See what I'm talking about. I ain't got no motherfucking money and shit. I'm hungry, bud. That's the story. Shit. We got to go back to C Crib because C had the mansion and shit. You know what I'm saying? At the time, the baby we had, mansion. Yeah, man. the baby mansion and shit. Yeah. And then we 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 can't even go to the goddamn. Uh, we ain't got that need. <laughs> I'm man, I'm mad that I'm gonna come here and spend all our money. Wow. That's a wild ass story, dog. So we got an album right here. Uh you Underground Legend Entertainment. Oh right. Right. Big That's Mitch. My label. And DJ Bird coming to you live. Uh-huh. Yeah. It looks like an Underground Kings album, nineteen ninety through twenty twenty. Nice. Right. Okay. It's full right. album. Full album. Uh Pimp C Unheard Pimp C verses and Unheard Absolutely. Big Smoke and Miss verses. Absolutely. Uh only on vinyl. Only, only, strictly on vinyl. Exclusively. Oh, Exclusively. Really? Limited right. edition. You cannot get this anywhere. Exactly. Wait a minute, you but can't say that, but there you go. From me. Okay. Yeah, right, How right. do they get that? You have to get with me either on Facebook or either on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's 11 songs. Yeah. Never been heard. Everything has been remastered from the original mm. tapes. You know, what I that's mean? my copy right there, right? Yeah, that's your. Oh, that's your yeah. copy. Uh, it's your book too, Bobo. Oh, this yeah. is your yeah. book too, Bobo. Baby, baby, we're not going to never take the plastic off. I signed the autograph off. too, Bobo. And I signed the autograph. Thank you, brother. Bobo. They are. They are not cheap, y'all. Okay. But let me tell you something. You're not going to hear this nowhere else, mm-hmm. but from me. And I have more. Original. You got more this tracks. Is, yeah. I, I, oh, I have more. I read it. This album is $100. Okay. I read it. Already. But look here. Exactly. It's in marble. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's in high definition. Already. Because I sent it off. I, I, didn't, I didn't get it mastered on just a computer and, and all that shit. Yeah. No. Yeah. I sent this off to somebody. Original. Who do that? That yeah. that do this. Do yeah. this. Original. You know what I'm original. saying? Original. Yeah. You know I paid 
for this. You know right, what I mean? Right, exactly. And you know, it looks good. It looks good. The all word yeah, and it yeah. sound good. Yeah. It oh yeah, sound real it sound real good. good. You know DJ? Yeah, I know. You know well, DJ Bird? Bird. He yeah, got, he got you. CD. He was a, he was he the first one. Oh, I no, he got you a CD of his too. I read it. Oh, I know it. I got it in another room, oh, Bird. Exactly. I'm gonna listen to it. Oh, really? Now, if I if I wanted to release it on CD, yeah, or cassette, yeah. Or something like that, I could do that, but no. Yeah. Vinyl vinyl has never been more popular than what it is right now. Oh no. If you look at these shows right now and you see they they have uh some of the commercials, they have turntables in the background. Yeah. Yeah. So vinyl has never went out of style. No. It just wasn't in the forefront. Right. It wasn't popular for a while. Exactly. Yeah, it wasn't popular for a while. But now but it's back. It's like like you you get something like this, and the guy that I, I'll just tell you this, Bobo, and this is this is an exclusive. Okay. Mm-hmm. Super cat, tight exclusive. The cat that did this, mastered this. Yes. Mastered some Michael Jackson shit. Ooh. Okay. And and some some other big name people shit. Okay. I'm not gonna release his name, but if you ever need his last name something, don't, don't end with G, do it. Nah. Oh, I about to nah. say. You know what I'm talking about? Nah. Yeah, yeah I do. <laughs> I do. Yeah, Chad, but it's, it's, about it's, 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 it's not this case. in California. But yeah. when he heard that that this is what I he, he wanted to do, I wanted to do with it. Yes. He was like, I have no problem with it. He put his and foot he, in it. Uh, yes, yes, he did. Yes, and you don't hear none of that. S- Ooh. Yeah. that you used to hear from all the old. Mm-hmm. Stuff. You don't hear none of that. Clean. Oh, wow. He took his dumb. time. Yeah. Wow. That's and right. Matt, when you listen to this, it's gonna be like you listening to a CD. Exactly. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because okay. I listened to it. It real. It's real clear. Oh yeah. The, it's really clear. The verse is right. right. It's right. It's right. Yeah. Exactly. And, uh, and it's in the trunk. To it. It's really Tell right. us your social media handle so they can find you. They want to cop that. Well, look. Um, MQJ seventy three is my Instagram. Okay. Uh, on YouTube is Big Mitch UGK. Mm-hmm. Already. Uh, on uh, Facebook is I have a band page. It's called Big Mitch of UGK. You can get to me there, or you can get to me on my personal page. Already. That's Mitchell Queen. Already. So give some shout outs, baby. Yeah. Well, I, I just want to shout out to PA man. Yeah, and all, yeah. all the young I artists that's yelling. coming out, you know, there that's that's doing their thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I, I'd like to say this one thing to the young artists, man. And this and this is just not mm-hmm. this is just not in yeah. PA. This is everywhere, man. Right. Let me tell you something. You flossing with your money yeah. in front of people that's hungry. Oh, mm. right. That don't have no hustle. Mm. That's it. That's it. That's they it. out there watching you. That's it. Stop flossing with your money oh, and all that jewelry That's right. on your neck, man. That's right. Because they plotting on you every time they see you doing something. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Stop That's right. that, man. That's, That's right. why a lot of these rappers are That's dying right. every week. Because they think that that's what they got to do. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. They don't want to listen to the OGs. They say, "Oh, y'all hating. Yeah. Y'all, you know, so, we making yeah. more money than y'all ever go. made and all that." Now, I, I want to see you live mm-hmm. to take the money that you making and do some bigger things with it. That's Already. right. That's Absolutely. right. Already. But what you're exactly. doing I is you that. allowing the record companies to pimp you. Huh. Right. And Tell to you. make you think that that's what you're supposed to be doing. Tell but queen. what you're really supposed to be doing is asking your record companies, look, you didn't gave me this money. How can I take this money and do some good with it? How can I take this money and ain't. flip it? They ain't going to do it. How can know? I take this money and get some land somewhere? They want to destroy your labor. How can they I take this money your, that you gave me that's and reinvest it into myself? They okay. want to destroy your But career. all you want to do... Is take your money oh, and floss in front of other people that don't have no money. Wow. Exactly. If you didn't have no money, what you think a nigga gonna do? Yeah. You you gonna go out there and get that money any way you can. Already. Stop flossing with all and, and exactly. then you niggas that go out there and buy that fake money, 
They don't know the difference. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. They see you with money. Yeah. And they, they gonna try you. after you. Yeah, I call them the wolves. Stop yeah, doing that, yeah, man. Bobo, you right. wolves, baby. You right, got to lay back That's in right. the cut That's yeah. right, Bobo. and plot your next move with the money that these record companies give you because exactly. they are plotting for your downfall. Exactly. They're expecting your downfall. Wow. Because the record company putting the insurance on you, so when you die, they get they get no, they no getting insurance. insurance money. They get wow. the insurance yeah. money. To recognize and, and you'll and, never and, know and, it. And the and they rappers don't never know it. No man. They never know that shit. They plotting over your ass. Fuck them. Exactly. <laughs> I appreciate y'all coming. Already. PAT in oh, the house. Yeah. Y'all come out. You G K baby. Once again, Broadcast. man, it's another super you know tight saying? edition, man. Y'all got to come back. Trill, in a, uh, Trill super tight I'll entertainment yeah, in baby. your fucking face. <laughs> DJ Bird, Big Smoke and Mitch. Yeah. Already. Already, Already baby. Yay. Yeah. No, I'm gonna get some game tuned in with super tight. Yeah. I get the low love from Big Bobo from the front seat, not no photos. 